This upgrade to Adagio Invoices 9.3b has many new features related to batch entry and status. In previous versions, it was possible to hide particular fields from the Invoice Detail screen with Display Field Selections, but no control over other areas of the invoice. Now you can set up batch entry templates, similar to other Adagio programs, so that each field object on header and address tabs can be skipped, disabled, or hidden from display. And fields on the Item Details screen can now be skipped or disabled in addition to being hidden. When you need to change the customer on a batch entry after it has already been started or saved, the Bill To tab now has a Find Customer button that allows you to locate the new customer by methods other than the customer number. Invoice information related to the new customer will be automatically loaded. When adding new items to an invoice entry, it is now possible to search for items defined in Adagio invoices by the description, in addition to the number, in the same way as was possible for inventory items. Invoices items can now be made inactive, so that it can be prevented from being added to new invoices without deleting them. If an inactive item is selected, a confirmation message will appear, either allowing you to reactivate the item for use, or cancel and choose a different item. Invoices item setup is now more explicit in setting decimal precision for unit price and unit cost values, with decimal values on the item master file. A new user preferences option to auto advance on edit documents is available to more easily edit or verify multiple details in succession on an invoice. When an edited detail is saved, the next one is automatically opened. Invoices items now support barcodes for scanning in the same way as has been implemented for inventory items. From the edit menu, the list of barcodes can be opened for addition or updating. Barcodes can also be added or edited from within Item Master Records and the Barcodes tab. These barcodes allow including an alternate description for transactions when used. In Batch Entry, when a barcode number is entered or scanned, this will insert the associated item number code into the field as if it was entered directly. When adding an inventory item to an invoice, an Item Information Inquiry screen was available to look up pricing and alternate item codes. Now this inquiry screen has been enhanced to also to be able to see quantity available by location and historical sales of this item for this or all customers. And the quantity by location information for the selected inventory item is also visible at the bottom of the screen without having to access the location field finder or the item information screen. The batch status inquiry has been enhanced. It can now be opened from a button on the toolbar. And you can select one or more batches for reprinting, batch listing, or posting journal reports. And recover batches posted or accidentally deleted. Batches are now sorted in descending order, with the most recently created batches at the top. The new grid search introduced in Adagio Ledger 9.3b is now available in invoices. On almost every grid, use the Control F keys to open the grid search function. Use the Control arrow keys to position the search next to the desired column, or use the mouse to click the arrow buttons, where the mouse will remain on the button. Then enter the desired search criteria, remembered from the previous search by user. If any matches are determined, then you can load those matches into the grid. The grid could be further restricted with another search within this search, or reset using the Control z shortcut. Read the complete list of features and changes from the release notes. 
watch another video on this Adagio program from the playlist, or subscribe to the Adagio YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.